And hello, welcome to my channel. I'm going to jump right into this. This video is a trailer reaction to the trailer for Doctor Who season 12. Let's watch this. It's in full screen waiting for me to go and they're at a vineyard of some sort by the looks of things. Uh, I'm just going to put my headphones on and we can get going. Alrighty, so playing in three, two, one. The name's Doctor. The Doctor. <gasps> a new suit. Everyone's in suits. Stephen Fry, yes. I'm not where I wanted to be, but I can work with this. <laughs> From what? I don't suppose you've seen anything weird. Was that Arachnos? You believe this is a human? Ooh. You trust me, don't you? <laughs> oh, there's Lenny Henry. And a bow tie with the suit. What's wrong? Something's coming for me. <gasps> So man, because we miss family. Hmm. <laughs> Are you my mummy? <laughs> what have you brought here, Doctor? I don't know. Boy. Don't forget to click below oh. and subscribe to the official yeah. Doctor Who well, YouTube channel. Well, I'm already channel. subscribed, so uh, yeah. That was. Pretty dang good. I'm gonna be honest. I liked last season. I know a lot of people were iffy about it. I liked it It wasn't the strongest by any means. In fact for me One of the strongest was season 10. So it came off one of the strongest to a very average kind of season But that's okay. And it's also someone's first season. They're all getting the hang of it um, But this looks good. It also, what was that line? There's a line in here somewhere. I'm gonna watch it again in a minute by the way And I'll point out the line. Um, something about like we can work with this. I feel like that was breaking the fourth wall. But yeah, no, this is good stuff. And uh, something I respect about last season, but I wasn't the biggest fan of, but I respect the decision was to reduce the amount of um, references to the past and villains returning. Whereas now <laughs> we've got the Cybermen, we've got the Dradoon, and that could be Arachnos, which was all the way back in, um, what's it called? Uh, the one Runaway Bride with uh, Donna, her first episode. When it, she was only going to be in one episode and then she said, I really like this. I wish somebody asked me to be, to stay on. And then later on they asked and she came back as one of the best companions ever. Yeah, no, that's great. Okay. I'm going to play this and I might, you know, comment on it a bit more than I did. I was, it was really fast paced action in your face and a lot of stuff to pick up on. Um, yeah. Like I didn't even notice the bow tie and the suit until the second shot we saw of Jodie in that costume. And it looks like the kind of... Speak of Runaway Bride, no, speak of Voyage of the Damned, <laughs> uh, where the 10th Doctor put on the tux, and it looks like they're doing the same sort of thing. That's fun. Alrighty, so, let's play it again. The name's Doctor. The Doctor. The security of this entire planet is at stake. Can Stephen Fry, I love Stephen Fry. I'm not where I oh, wanted to be, but I can work with this. Not where I wanted to be, but from <gasps> What? what? There's a Ragnos thing. Weird around here. <laughs> She's the weird thing, obviously. What's the plan? You trust me, don't you? Have I got to answer that? Where are we? Paris, 1943. Oh no. Something's coming for me. That Cyberman looks so cool. Where are you going? Because we are mates. Family. Ooh. Get away from them! I know things will get into the TARDIS. Neither did I. What have you brought here, Doctor? I don't know. Okay, so. So there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah, there's that line about where she's laying under floorboards <laughs> with this other woman. It's not Yaz. No, it's not Yaz. Um, and she's saying, uh, I'm not where I wanted to be, but I can work with this. I wonder if that is kind of like a. Uh, all right, we see we see what you're doing, what your, what your opinions are. We'll we'll fix it up, sort of thing. I'm just gonna quickly go through. I'm actually just gonna let it play, and I'll comment on it without he you having to hear it. So we have Stephen Fry guest starring, which I love, and Lenny Henry. They were announced together. Some space stuff. We got the Dradoon. and the bit there where she's got this big light on her head. Quirky. Not everyone wears a giant, you know, rubber brown rubber strap on their head with a light and she's saying have you seen anything weird around here um played for laughs america again that character was american i just saw it flash up 
And there's a bit there with the car driving backwards that reminds me of the first Kingsman movie. Um, very good movie, very good stuff. Yeah, I, I don't want to react to it a third time, but there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I kind of respect what they were doing previously where they didn't want to include too many stuff from the past just for their first season. But now it's time to kind of marry the two eras, the previous show and this new era together. And it looks like they're going to be doing that this season. And I'm very excited and very happy about that because I do think that um, while I liked some episodes of last season, it did feel like a bit disjointed. But yeah, this is quite good. Oh, and I've got a bit of a theory that thing that's after her, and they're all saying, uh, let it come where your friends, where your family will, will help you out, basically, is what they're saying. I bet that is to do with what the, um, uh, what were they called? <laughs> I don't think they were called anything. The rags, the floating rags, the floating towels, whatever they were, from, I keep forgetting episodes from last season, what's it called? The Ghost Monument, the second episode, where they said the lost child or something like that. I wonder if she's the lost child and something's after her. Because I think they said something was coming to get you as well, I think, or something's following you. I don't know. Either way, that was a pretty good trailer. I do have to be honest. For the first season, speaking of doing new things, I liked that they put pop music on the trailers last year. I'm not too much of a fan of it now. I like orchestral stuff. I mean, it's, it's not too bad, but it's not a big complaint. It's just a trailer. And in a few weeks' time, actually over a month, nearly two months, probably, but we'll probably start seeing the episodes, and that's what's more important. But yeah, I wasn't too much of a fan of the song choice, but like I said, doesn't really matter. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Give me a like and hit subscribe, please. I'd greatly appreciate that. And uh, I'll catch you next time.